Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and today our topic is Poetex. Uh, it's a, you know, yeah, it's a Poetex what we can say. I mean the religions these days are Poetex, are not really religions no more. Um, I saw a video actually and somebody sent me the video uh, from our brother David Wood uh, about uh, the Muslim Chinese and the discrimination against them. Now, before we start, for sure, uh, we are against any uh, discrimination. Doesn't matter; it's happening against who, and done by who. If a Christian discriminate a Muslim, that is wrong. If a Muslim discriminate a Hindu, that's wrong. If a Hindu discriminate a Christian, that's wrong. Doesn't matter. But uh, you know, when we talk about uh, things and we mention them as if they are facts, that can be a problem. So here, you know, uh, what I will say about the video doesn't mean I disrespect our brother David Wood, but I don't agree with him. And I find uh, that he adopted what he should not adopt. Like, you know, he says YouTube, uh, Facebook, media, you know, they lie. And then we take the same source and we adopt what they are saying and we talk about it as if it's a fact. I will play a little bit of the video and then I will make my comments. As I remember disagreement with somebody doesn't mean you know you don't like or you hate the person but we as a Christian we should always be truthful doesn't matter who says what he says when he's wrong he's wrong when he's right he's right now some what he said is true and it's you know we agree with it but there's many things is absolutely far from being truth he is uh, accepting uh, what he think it's a fact from people who cannot be trusted and we will show you as if mass internments brainwashing forced labor forced sterilizations and organ harvesting weren't enough muslim women are being tortured and gang raped at disney approved chinese re-education camps Okay, now you can go and watch the video and see the rest. And he is showing you that is a, a few women, they came and they said, this has happened to us. Now, you know, I mean, uh, you see, I'm not saying the Chinese government is not capable of doing that. I mean, this is communist and communists can go extreme. I mean, we know that Stalin, he used to sign every day one signature. And this is written by communists themselves, communist books, uh, to the execution of almost 4,000 people every morning, you know. So, like when he's drinking their coffee, he signed the execution of 4,000 human beings. So, we are not defending the communist, but how we can trust the information. See, uh, uh, David here, he starts sh showing you from a human rights website. Uh, um, I think he mentioned two or three witnesses. One is a teacher and two women, they be raped. And I find the story is really weird. Because, you see, we have a country, have a billion something, and then two people or three people, they are witness against it. And those people, they are telling the truth. And the Chinese government is so stupid to the point they rape women and they give them a passport to leave. I mean, those communists, they do things very carefully. It's a, it, it's a police state. It's a police state. When I, Last time I was in China, if you see, if you remember my video, I, I, I told you in the video, when I was recording, look how many police cars. Look, you know, uh, they are staring at you because this is a police state. But to believe that those Chinese are so stupid to the point they rape the women and they give her a passport so to go abroad and she say what happened to her. Who can, I believe, who can believe in such a thing? Same time, they build the school to teach them communism so they don't believe in Islam and then they rape them in the same school who in the world want to believe in this either they want to teach them or you want to rape them I mean the idea itself is very silly I want to open a school so I can fix the thinking and the belief of those people okay and now I want to show them that we are better and Islam is bad okay and then I rape the women gang rape and then I am proving to her that in, I'm better. I mean, who is going to believe in this? You know what I mean? Something wrong in the story. <laughs> 
So what uh, David Wood, he did, he went to the human uh, uh, right uh, website and he took the information from there. But guess who is the human right website? Do you know that Saudi Arabia was the head of the human right just last year? I think it was last year when they lost their vote. They lost their chair lately. Human right. How come in China there is not, they are not reporting that the Arabian Christians, okay, they are Arabian Muslim women only, like the police of China. They have a private part of a meal only when there's a Muslim woman. When they are they are arresting thousands of Christians, destroying churches of Christians. How come they are Arabian only Muslim women? Like what the the police are bad. Only in the Islam, you know, Muslim territory, and the Chinese police is uh, very nice to the Christians, and you know, very yeah, they 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 call the Christian brother, you know. So, I mean, all those stories they don't make sense. Let me search. Let me search for some information. You know, I don't really prepare for things. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right. That was right. Here we go. So Saudi Arabia was the head of the Human Rights Council or a member of it until this year. Just last month, they lost their chair. I saw that and I opened it before and I spoke about it. You know? Saudi Arabia lost vote to stay uh, 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 or you in Human Rights Council. Okay, how in the world even you have such a country in the Human Rights Council? I mean, who is the stupid here? Saudi Arabia, Qatar, the, and you know the rest. How in the world those are the human rights? Those are the ones who protect human rights. Let me do another search. Let us see who is now in the Human Rights Council today, not last year, not, you know, this is just this month happened, last month, you know, a new election happened. Okay, I will type 2021. Hmm. Let us see the joke. Hey, Muhammad Saeed, get out of here. I have no patience for kids no more. Let your dad speak to me. Uh, a bunch of kids. Okay, guys, this is the Human Rights Council for 2000. And they are until now. Beginning, their term began in January 1st, 2021. Okay. Who are they? Let us read together. Those are the ones who will write the report for you. Those who? The 15 members are the ones who will give you the report of the human right around the world. Okay, Bolivia. How fun, Bolivia. China. <laughs> China. <laughs> like, hello? China is in the Council of the Human Right? Thank you. And I don't know what this country is. I never heard of it. Cote d'Olivore. I don't know how even to say it. Cuba. Cuba. Nice. You know, the only thing I know about Cuba that people, they like their cigar. The rest is nothing. I mean, this is the most horrific uh, uh, communist country in the world. Those people, they, you know, they, they're, they're, what's his name? The, their, their hero, Mr. Viagara. I don't know what they call him. He put thousands of Christians inside the churches and burned them alive. And there's many Christian, full Christians. They put, a, they have, they buy a, t they buy a T-shirt, have the picture of this guy, Mr. Viagara. Those are the one who will Gabon, Malawi, Mexico, 
नेपाल पाकिस्तान लखनऊ पाकिस्तान आई मीन आर यू सीरियस Pakistan I mean how many email I receive from YouTube about the Pakistani government complaining and suing they are making a legal you know uh, uh, a complaint to YouTube about my videos Pakistan I mean it must be true Whatever Pakistan right there, it must be true. I mean, this is Pakistan. Humor right there is like unbelievable. So now we will receive a report from Pakistan or the Pakistani government. Let me show you. Just uh, I just opened my email and I searched for one of the, you know, here we go. Dear Arabian Prophet, this is who? This is YouTube. Okay. We have received legal complaint from the government entity, from a government entity. I mean, a guy in YouTube, the Muslim, they say, who listen to Christian Prince? You are right. I mean, nobody, nobody listen. Nobody. To the point, the intelligence of Pakistan, they are watching my videos. First time I saw this, I thought, okay, this is with the government of USA, obviously, maybe. You know, I mean, who is going to go after you too? So we receive a legal complaint from the government, from government entity regarding your video. After reviewing the following video, it has been blocked. You will go Sharia law of you too. In the country site listed be below. Okay, where? Pakistan. I mean, do you see how much a human right? I mean, even a video is a threat for them. And what are we teaching the video? Are we teaching go and kill, go do violence, go chop heads like, you know, the terrorist? So now, in the year 2021, we have Pakistan in the Human Rights Council. God bless you, United Nation. This is the official website of United Nation. I mean, you got to agree with everything they say in the United Nation. I mean, this is United Nation. That's it. I mean, they, they, they are United Nation. I mean, what is united in those nations? Nothing. And to make it more even, it means more, more stupid, the Russian Federation. Like who? The Russian Federation. I mean, the guy who's opposing Vladimir Putin, he is in jail right now. And now the Human Rights Council, the, the Russian Federation. Senegal, Ukraine. Here we go, Ukraine got lucky. Finally, Ukraine and are listening. <laughs> they put you in the Human Rights Council. That's it. You and the Russian in the same chair. <laughs> I mean, the United Nations, my friend, is the worst joke ever. You know, when, when the terrorists in Syria were slaughtering people, raping them, the United Nations, they have report in their page saying that those are fighter, fighters for freedom. So since, so since when they count what they say? You know, when somebody do something to Christians extreme, United Nations, they say there's some discrimination against Christians. In, you know. If you read the United Nations report about Christians in China, why we don't see rape? I mean, how come the, the word rape appear only when it's come to Muslims? What about the thousands of churches being destroyed by the Chinese government? I searched for mosque destroyed by Chinese government. I found only one picture about a mosque used to be there a long time ago and disappeared. You see it? 
This is supposedly a picture of satellite, but who can trust this? But if we search for the same thing about Christians, we will find thousands and thousands of churches taking the cross down, taking the Holy Church down, burning the church, destroying the church, taking, the, you know, I mean, the, actually, the last time I was there, the same day I arrived, they were taking the one of the biggest church in China. They took it down. They forced them to take the cross and put the, look, they put the, put the star of the communist. So making a drama and saying that the Chinese is doing this and accepting the drama and adopting maybe maybe it's true, maybe it's a lie. You see, I'm not saying I know. Maybe it's true. But it's very much maybe it can be a lie. Because if they are raping everybody, they rape everybody. They don't rape only the Muslims, they rape the Christians too. And they will rape the Hindus and they will rape anyone who has religion. Communist mean communist mean no religion. So anyone have religion is their enemy. Wonderful. So it doesn't matter if you are a Muslim, if you are a Christian, if you are a Hindu. But when it's come to the Muslims, they don't tell you that the Chinese they suffer from a great attack of terrorism from those who they call them the Igor ethnic. You see, what people don't want to show you is the truth. But maybe they like to show you part of the truth. If we search right now, you can search for a party, it's called the Turkmenistan Party. The Turkmenistan Party. You will find English list of attack and hundreds of policemen and villagers who they are not Muslims being killed by those terrorists. If you go and see uh, the propaganda machine, how it works, why did the United States take a China word on supposed Uyghur terrorist? Supposed? I mean, are you sure it's supposed? Do you see the propaganda? The Eastern Turkestan Islamic movement barely exists. It's a barely exists. It's not exist, man. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, do you see the Western propaganda barely exist? That's mean maybe they are two members. But this party have thousands and thousands of fighters. Actually, the most aggressive fighters in Syria are those. They are the first to attack. They put them in the front. They are suicide bomber. They don't want to live. They, don't want to, they want to die. They are the most aggressive terrorists. But according to Western news, they are barely exist. They are not exist. You know what? I'm going to search for the name in YouTube. Hold on to see if they are barely exist or not. You know, maybe they are barely exist. Maybe, I mean, come on. There's no way they are lying to us. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you must be kidding me. They don't exist. Huh? Yeah, he's right. Look, they are not exist. Do you see? They are not exist, brother. They are not exist. Like barely exist. Like we cannot even find them, my friend. It's a lie. And look, they have kids. Look, 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 look. They are recruiting kids, training kids about chopping heads. They are barely exist. Brother, they are lying to you. There is no such a thing. Look, this is this is their school. You see, David Wood is, you know, he was speaking about the Chinese government school. In the Chinese government school, they rape you. 
This is the Islamic Ogor terrorist school. They are kids, look, they are not even seven, eight years old. But they are barely exist. They are not there. It's a lie. Look at this, look at this. Can you believe it? Look, they, they are, look, this guy is not even four, five, four, year, four years old. They are barely exist. That's it. You know, people are not being right and they are lying, they are not exist. Where we can find them? We cannot find them anywhere. Brother, they are not exist. And who is their friends? Al-Qaeda, ISIS, Osama bin Laden, and if actually they are more aggressive than Osama bin Laden himself. Osama bin Laden is very nice compared to them. They are barely exist. I mean, we cannot find them. So, when uh, our friend David Wood he go and he read that article from United, United you know United Nation and all the drama and almost like I'm going to cry, yeah, and we are against anyone to do anything wrong. I mean, this is disgusting. If somebody is raving a Muslim woman, he is filthy. He is disgusting. He is whatever he is. He is the devil. But they ignore, you know, they want to show you a propaganda machine, which is always work in the West. This is our friend Osama bin Laden. This is a newspaper on USA. It says that he was a hero. Now, here we go. Just hold on. This is a Muslim saying to us, they were sponsored by a CIA. We agree with you. Why not? They will sponsor you. You are, you are, you are, you know, this is your religion. Your religion is a stupid and they can use it. They are sponsored by the CIA. I agree. Is it their fault, the CIA, if you are stupid? <laughs> this is, this is what? This is USA. This is Washington Post. Or this is what? Which one? Let me see. What is the name of the newspaper? Uh, give me a second. Yeah. This is mind blowing. Boggling, boggling, sorry, excuse my funny English. Of Osama bin Laden came out exactly 20 years ago. Okay, he was 20 years ago, he was a hero of the CIA. The Congress sent money to him. They sent CIA members to train him. This is what? International? I don't know what. If anyone is expert with the newspaper in USA, can tell me what is this? I saw the sign before. This is what? I don't know. So, this is a, this is a USA newspaper 20 years ago. Anti-Soviet warrior put his army on the road to peace. Whew, that's deep. And look at this smile of the hero. Do you see it? The independent. Yeah, the independent. <laughs> see the propaganda? See how things change? And the fool is the one who believe in this garbage. The same as Obama and the same as Trump and the same as all of them. They say that those who they are fighting in Syria, they are fighting for freedom, for democracy. When John McCain, the terrorist supporter, he went to Syria and he took pictures with the terrorist. When he came back, they asked him, Hey, uh, Senator, they were shouting Allahu Akbar. He said, what's wrong with that? Allah Akbar means Allah, God is a great. <laughs> yeah, 
it's God is great. I mean, it's great. I mean, a great in slaughtering. Those people are going to kill people. So why they are shouting, God is great? I mean, what did the great God have to do with the slaughtering people? You tell me. When the terrorists of Shishenia, they attack the school of Bastan, I just remember the name, Bastan, something like this. The stupid George Bush, he invited the terrorist to the White House and he called them rubble. They are rubble. They are trying, they are fighting for freedom. They killed 1,000 at least. At that time, the government, they mentioned 500 because they don't want to make the anger go crazy. Supposedly 500 is nothing. 500 little child, according to the government, and then later they adjust the number to 1,000 something. The filthy George Bush, he invited the terrorists who killed those children, who they are Christian children, to the White House, calling them heroes. If you kill an American citizen, you are a terrorist, but if you kill a Russian citizen, you are a good person. May Allah bless you, according to George Bush. I mean, what's wrong with killing children in Russia? Nothing wrong, right? But if they are American children, we will go after you. What we will say? Now, after all this introduction for you, again, what David Wood, he said, is his opinion. We don't have to agree with him. He's our brother in Christ. But I believe he is very wrong. Why all of this against China now? Let us go to what is really the reason for all this China discrimination thing. See, Trump, he did not mention one word against China discriminating the Christians. He went to China, he signed agreement with them. He did not open his mouth about why you are doing this to the Christians. Suddenly Trump is an atheist, you know, he don't care. He did not open his mouth. The story, all of it, is something very simple. And those who don't want to see, they will not see, for they decide to be blind. All is about business. China is the giant which they don't know how to put it inside the box. They don't care for a human right. They support, you know, they support terrorists around the world. But a China today is not the China which we knew 200 years ago. China today, people are borrowing money from her, if we can call her her. Including USA. If you remember, Trump he decides suddenly that TikTok is dangerous company. Why? They collect information about you. Really? It's okay if Google, they knew every single one of us around the world. But Chinese cannot do that. This is only for us. This is only for us. We are the, and us who? Us is Google. Us is Facebook. Us is you know Twitter. I mean, this guy he is fighting them supposedly, and yet he is trying his best to stop any competition.
they are afraid that Google will not be exist in 10 years from now. The Chinese, they are coming with better product. So what we do? We have to stop China. China, okay, you are spying at our citizen. In USA, we have centers who they can listen to every single phone call around the globe, not only in USA, anywhere in the world. Anywhere, anywhere. Give them the number, they have it already anyway. And they will listen to you, even speaking to your wife about what you will do at night after work. But China cannot do that. The problem is that this app was growing so crazy and they exceed billions of numbers. And then who is going to go to Facebook? Who is going to go to Twitter? Chinese apps is more fun, more smart. And people are not really worried about the garbage of Twitter, posting something Twitter don't like. Right now, I don't know how this video was staying. I, I, don't, I cannot keep my videos in, in, in YouTube. I mean, have you ever heard of a, somebody speaking for, you know, I don't know how many years. After all those years, I don't even, I cannot have a single video on my channel. Why? Because we have a human right in USA. Your voice count, my friend. To the point you cannot even keep your video in your own channel. Unless you are a terrorist. When the last time, when the last time, YouTube took down the video of, uh, what his name? Lili Dawa? who said he want to kill an apostle prophet, someone like you, we are watching him. The guy he made complaint did not take it down. There's nothing wrong there. <laughs> There's nothing wrong there. All Muslims channels, they have advertising running. They receive donations through YouTube. It's okay. But all the Christians who speak the truth, they strip them from that privilege. You cannot donate to me. I am not allowed to collect donation in you too. The well, same as David Wood, they took it from him. At least David Wood, he can leave his video there. I cannot leave it there for a day. I make a video, I have to take it down before the second morning, otherwise YouTube, they will take me down. So this is not about really discrimination. Since when Trump, he care really for Muslims in China? Do you really believe in that? How come Trump did not put sanctions on China because of the Christians in China? And then, there's other problem. The phone companies, my friend. China became the biggest producer for everything high tech, heavy high tech, those are products we use to control, and the China's, Chinese are taking them. We will lose trillions of dollars, not only billions. So, what we will do? Oh, okay, they are spying at us, we have to stop them, and we put sanctions, and any country will buy from them, he will be punished heavily. So listen, listen, people, if you buy equipment made by us in USA, we don't listen at you. No, no, we don't. Chinese will listen to you. That's why when I use my phone, I know that Chinese are listening to me. So I speak in a language the Chinese do not know. It's called the Bruce Lee 007. It's like a code, you know, because you know that, you know, like the CIA things, you know, you know what I'm talking about. This is always about money, have nothing to do with the human right. And if you are, if you are naive, you are naive. Look around you, please look around you, each one of you. If you have Apple phone, I guarantee you it's made in China. Actually, it says there it's made in China. When my laptop broken, I took it to the, you know, I opened the, you know, the thing. It says the battery in China, the board in China. I mean, the whole computer in China. The screen is made in China, but it's it's called Apple. 
and Apple, they say they will not buy from China any product made by forced labor, but all their product is made there. <laughs> Their product themselves, uh, they will not buy from China, but they, their product itself is made in China. I mean, who is lying to who? Do you hear me, people? It's about money. It is going out to Russia. Hmm? See, Islam is peace. You know, if you ask, uh, you know, Islam means peace. Uh, Obama, you know, what you name it. Ask any Western leader, say to you, Islam is peace. Islam is a great religion. Yeah. They are barely exist, they're terrorists. They are ex they barely exist. They do not exist. We cannot find them. The Turkmenistan party, we cannot find it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us go now to Russia. The Russian, they want to sell their gas. And they have a lot of it. But then what the USA would do? We have a lot, a lot of gas. So what we do? We put sanctions on the Russian. So and even the European, you know, the European, they sign agreement with the Russian because this is the most cheapest and very close to them, very practical. Why we wanna go and buy from Qatar and go through the sea and that make risk of breaking the vessel, uh, polluting the water, blah, 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 blah. When we have the Russian in the border, no, you cannot buy from them. Who is going to buy the gas we have in Alaska and Pennsylvania, in Ohio and blah, 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 blah. Nobody will buy it then. We have a lot. We have enough 4,000 years to go. So what we do? We put sanctions on Russia because of a human right not to buy gas. I mean, look, the connection, you see the connection? I mean, it's so clear. It's like the Quran, my friend. Hey, brother, what does this verse mean? Allah knows best. <laughs> Are we listening? Sanction to kill off the potent pipeline, why? I mean, it's a pipeline. Is that human right too? Is that something have to do with the human right? And the USA put all the pressure they can over the European Union so they will not buy from Russia. Forget about the gas now. Eh, okay. Even medicine, my friend. The Russian, they are the first who come with the vaccine. The first ever for Corona. Suddenly, or we will not approve it. They don't even want to discuss it. Just three months ago, Italy want to buy from them. France want to buy from them. They are desperate. They want the vaccine of the Russian because it's very effective. They made a huge propaganda against the vaccine. Why? Because this is will bring trillions of dollars. Imagine if everybody buy the vaccine of the Russian. I mean, even saving life doesn't matter for them. You see, let us say Russia is your enemy, but they have a medicine for your, your you know, your father, your mother. You will let your father die. Oh, well, don't worry. Those who are in politics, their father will not die. They will take them to the best hospitals and they will have the best treatment and they will get, get out of the, of the disease in two days like what happened to Trump. Like a horse. Why do they want the Russian vaccine? It's way cheaper. And that's a problem. That's a bad competition. It's very effective. What about the Chinese vaccine? I mean, any vaccine is not made in the West. They will not accept it because they don't want the money to go out. And they have investment in the stock market. So my friend, we are against discrimination. Doesn't matter who do it. Doesn't matter where it's done. 
doesn't matter what the religion. If Muslims are discriminated, we stand with them and we fight with them for the right thing to be, do, to be done. But don't fail into the propaganda. Nobody in this world, government, they care about human rights. Nobody. They are a bunch of liars, coward, fraud, double standards, and they have all the requirement to be called those names. If you are a supporter for Trump, before he lost the election, according to Erdogan, they are good people. Trump is gone. Erdogan, he sent a letter to Biden saying that those who support Trump, obviously they are white supremacists. The coward, he was protecting, he was protected by Trump. He was the puppy of Trump. And now, Turkey is in the Human Rights Council. I don't know if the name was there, and the previous one maybe. Turkey, Erdogan. They have hundreds of thousands of people. You know, when the when the when the Kurdish been taken from their towns in Syria and they replaced them with Turkmenistan party family. No way talk about it. It's okay. That's normal, you know. Is that a problem? Okay, right now in Syria, they have a camp full of thousands of ISIS families and members. Well, if this is wrong, the time Chinese is doing it, why are you doing it? Let ISIS go. Give them five stars hotels. So, all this is nothing but a garbage. Don't fool yourself. Those people, they never speak. And they make excuses. You know, when the Russian, they said to them, okay, we will give you the vaccine, approve it, study it, see if it's good. They said, no, 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 we don't. Then six months after, they are kissing the shoes of the Russian to give it to them. Why? Because there's a lot of money involved. They wanted all the poor people in the world to be the slaves of the Western company who they have the money control. It's a mafia, my friend. They want a poor guy from India to buy an expensive vaccine. He cannot afford or he die. A person in Pakistan, in, in Bangladesh, a, a person in India, a person in Indonesia, a person in Philippines, how he can afford, or their government, they can afford to buy this vaccine. You have to buy our vaccine, otherwise we would sanction on you. They don't even let you buy the vaccine. They put sanctions on you if, you if you buy it. You believe it? I mean, they don't even, they speak about a human right. I mean, is it my right to buy gas from the country I like? No, it's not your right. Is it my right to buy drugs from a country I like? No, you cannot. What is a human right? Western government is the same as Muhammad. Filthy, corrupt liars, they are blood suckers, and either you are with us or you are the enemy. In the same time, they use Islam as propaganda, as a tool to gain authority and to control. When France brought Al Khomeini and they put him in their house and they give him salary and they give him bodyguard, and then when he went back to Iran, they supported him, and France got the biggest economic deals with Iran. It's an investment. It doesn't matter if the Khomeini is going to be an Islamic regime. It doesn't matter. What matter is, here we go. We are going to control their oil. We are going to sell them our cars. We are going, we will be number one source of market for them. We have a privilege. We are the one who protect Al Khomeini. And this is why you will see all the terrorists, they are in Europe. Why? Because they are investing on them. 
the same as the invested of the Muslim Brotherhood. The Muslim Brotherhood are wanted in Saudi Arabia, in Emirat, in Bahrain, in Qatar, sorry, except Qatar. Qatar is a Muslim Brotherhood. They are wanted everywhere, but not in Europe. Why? Because they are hoping one day they will take over. And those, you know, they are our puppies. They are sponsored by the intelligence of those countries. The same as our brother Osama bin Laden, Allah have mercy on his soul. He was sponsored by the beautiful CIA and Congress and senators. So try to be smart when you review the news because it is not a news, it's a propaganda. You know, when Saddam Hussein, he was fighting Iran for eight, nine years, he was a hero. <laughs> he was say, arm him. The money was coming like rain to Saddam Hussein from Saudi Arabia. Okay, Saddam Hussein suddenly, he switched his mind, you know. He wanna be a caliphate. He decided to take Kuwait. Suddenly, USA, you see, like, I mean, if you remember, there's a war was in a, uh, in a country called Rwanda between two tribes. One is called Tutsi, and I don't know what the other name, somebody can remind me. And people being killed by hundreds of thousands and even burned alive. Not a single NATO soldier was sent there. Nobody moved. No America, no France, no England. No China, nobody, nobody, who cares? I mean, those poor people in Africa killing each other. But then, you know, but when you take a country in the size of my backyard, it's called Kuwait. And the number of population is so small to the point that the Prince of Kuwait, he paid for each one of them to stay in a hotel five stars. Do you see how small the population was? Like 200,000. All the population of Kuwait run away from the country and they stay in hotel and the prince was paying their, 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 their salary and they are paying their hotel. This is how small the population. Suddenly USA want to send army, 250,000 soldiers sent by USA. I mean, why? USA need 250,000 treaty to fight. The, I mean, they, they collapse his army in less than six hours. Before even they land in the ground, his army is gone. Imagine if USA going on a war against Pakistan. Pakistan will be demolished before even they say hello. Why you need to send 250,000? Because the Kuwaiti prince, he promised for every individual, they need to send a big money of, you know, to give to USA. So they want to send in as many as they can. And suddenly all the countries want to join. Everybody want to join. Australia want to join. Canada want to join. France want to join. Everybody want to free Kuwait. Okay, China took, the, took uh, over Tibet. Hmm? China took over Tibet. Not long time ago. It's a country, it's a nation, it's a people. They have their own religion, they have their own uh, king, they have their own rule. They took over the country. Who is going to invade China? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> what a garbage. <laughs> yeah, the Tutsi and the Houthi. Anyway, so when China take the Tibet, suddenly everybody go mute, you know? Oh, the Russian they took over it over uh, Crimea and Ukraine. What what the American they did? We put sanctions on you. <laughs> you know. In the same time, Trump he signed a piece of paper saying we want to give Israel the Jordan Heights. Look at the double standard. How come you are against the Russian to take a territory of Ukraine, but you are giving the Israeli, a territory, a territory have nothing to do with them. Even the Israeli agree that this is an occupation. Today, I'm going to sign uh, an announcement that Julian Haidt belong to like, oh, what? What is this? What this guy is doing? So why it's not okay for the Russian to take the Ukrainian land? But it's okay to Israel to take the Syrian land. 
it's okay that the Turkey should take the Syrian land because now Syria is weak. You know, it's not it's not a China. When you are weak, everybody want to put his knife in your back. When you are strong, people bow down. And they call you your majesty. So the truth always is, is flexible for those people. There's no truth. Never take their news. Never accept what they say to you in TV. For what they say to you is nothing but a fraud. It's a propaganda. Nobody's saying the truth. Trump, he put sanctions on the Syrian regime and the, the Syrian people there are dying. I mean, what does this have to do with the regime? So trust me, the regime are eating the best food. Since when this is a human right? Is that a really human right? Why you don't do the same sanctions over China that nobody can eat because we are, we are eating from them? My microphone is made in China. My computer made in China. The SIM card is made in China. The cup for the coffee is made in China. My table for the computer is made in China. The floor, the flooring in my house is made in China. I mean, what is made in... This is why they fear China, my friend. They are desperate to stop this huge giant who took over the world economy. Same as Russia. They cannot believe that this is the Russian in the time of Yeltsin. When Yeltsin was a president, yeah, Russia was a great for them because he was a puppy. He's a stupid. He gave up the weapon. He, he, he you know, uh, like uh, uh, Gorbachev is a wonderful person for them. Why? Because the Soviet Union is gone. And that's it. And they wanted Russia to be a puppy for them. If Putin was a, just a puppy, trust me, America, they will love him. But this man is an eagle. He's a warrior. He wants a great Russia. Now he is a he is a dictator, yes. And maybe he's a criminal, maybe. But he made Russia so strong. And that is something they don't want. They don't want anyone strong beside them. They want to destroy anyone who try to grow. Russia, you cannot grow. But you know, Russia is the biggest country in the world. Actually, the most rich country in the world. They have the extreme resource. Nobody have resource like Russia. Their borders go all the way to USA, to Alaska. Actually, Alaska itself belongs to them. And the American, they bought it for $6 million. How cheap. This is the problem how we can contain those giants have nothing to do with the human right and all the naive people believe that there's a human right exist there's a strong right and the weak no, the weak have no right when you are weak you have no right nobody care for you there's thousands and thousands of slaves black slaves right now as we speak in libya did the Americans send the Marines in the time of Obama to save them? No. He was arming actually the same terrorists who they are enslaving the black people. And they are, right, until now, they are slaves. They are raping them. They are killing them. The whole world is watching. They are poor black people. Let them die. Who care, huh? But if you kidnap a citizen, belong to our country, so we can show you that we care for the people so we can win the election. We will make a big... Uh, when, when, the, when the Shia militant, they attack a base in the time of a Trump and they killed a translator. And he's a Muslim, by the way, from Michigan. Trump, be make it a big deal. Allahu Akbar, Jihad, etc. And he made the strikes all over Iran. He killed one of the biggest leaders. Okay, so 
because it's one citizen from our country then we can do something right but if it is thousands of people from different country it's okay no problem you know that's a human right this is how human rights work the truth is ugly it is disgusting and politics is the same as a container full of panties and excuse me I'm using the word panties you know some people they might you know but this is the language I use to expose certain things and those panties are full of period and the brand is called Victoria's Secret <laughs> <laughs> so there are good brands in the West and there's bad brands in those countries we are the best we have the best vaccine we have the best technology we have the best we have the best they have nothing if you buy from them we will put sanctions on you and then those who they are making product which is against our product we will make them look evil they are the devil they, we will label them we will bully them you see when the Mohammedan they try to bully me this is what the West they do to China and they do to Russia and by the way I'm not defending the Chinese you know I mean I told you the Chinese government is a communist they are dictatorship the same as uh, Putin I believe is a dictator too but don't be fooled by the propaganda machine all of them are evil nobody is better than anybody So I hope you did listen to my message. Uh, discrimination is ugly, but none of those people who are speaking about discrimination, they have the right to speak about it. To have a Pakistan as a member on the Human Rights Nation Council, that is a joke. To have Qatar, in the, Qatar, the, a guy, he made a poetry against the prince. He disappeared. I mean, how in the world Qatar is a member of how Saudi Arabia, how Pakistan? I mean, you tell me. I mean, what's wrong with this uh, United Nation? <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we pray that you will have a blessed weekend. And again, remember, when we say that David Wood was wrong, doesn't mean that he is a bad person. It just, we have different opinion, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe he's wrong. You decide. Think about what he said, think about what I said, you know, and I believe we should not be driven by a report made by a human right. The same human right report says things which is unacceptable. It's fabricated. Somebody always writing the human, they, you remember, the human right report is written by the hand of a man. And that man present a propaganda agenda. So whatever is sweet that person, he will write. It's the same as the news. You know when the news? If I'm driving my car right now and I hit uh, a dog. Hmm? If this newspaper, when they label me as an Arab, they say, an Arab man, he killed an American dog. Man, what a bad news. <laughs> the title change the direction of the news an Arab man he killed an American dog I mean I was driving and the dog came in my way what does this have to do with the Arab do you understand what I'm saying so always the news have a title and the title present the propaganda machine does not present the news Osama bin Laden is a hero for millions and millions of Muslims. He's a terrorist for millions and millions of non-Muslims. It's just a, you know, the news changed the title. But the person is the same one. How he can be hero there, and he can be terrorist here. And yes, he's a terrorist, but not according to them. According to them, he's a hero. So don't be fooled. 
What do you think about the Pope visiting Iraq? I think this Pope is better for him if he take a vacation and he go to the moon. He is useless and he is careless and he is a joke. You know, I don't take a side with Catholic and Protestant and things, but all those call themselves leaders in the world today, they are fraud. All of them. Never, never, never make your belief in the hand of a man. His name is a priest. His name is a Christian prince. His name is a Protestant. His name is an Orthodox. His name is a Catholic. It doesn't matter. Christianity is in the hand of a Christ. Anyone he follow, men in this earth, is a stupid. All men are sinners, the Bible says, including me. And those who believe that men are holy are fool. There is no man is holy, only God. When the Bible speak about holy saints, those because they give their life, they have something special about them. But the rest, who are they? Paul, he used to live in a tent. He used to make tents to make living. Where are those priests, high priests, where they live? Palaces, bodyguards, money, jewelries, glory. Our Lord, he used to, ha to have a, even a donkey he don't own. And he ride a donkey. Go and see what they write. And then you will know that they have nothing to do with the Christ. So my friend, thank you very much for being here. We love all people. We love the Muslims. And we ask the Christians to be united. Never call yourself Catholic. Never call yourself Protestant. Never call yourself Orthodox. Call yourself Christian. For there is no name better than his name. To hold on your face. If you have a name better than the name of Christ, then call yourself by it. The second you call yourself Catholic, you are avoiding the name of Christ for some reason. The second you call yourself Protestant, you are avoiding the name of Christ for some reason. The second you call yourself Orthodox, you are avoiding the name of Christ for some reason. There is no name better than his name. And any name you choose is a wrong name. Thank you. God bless you. Feel free to download the video. As you know, I don't keep them long because YouTube, they love me a lot. And I love them too. I swear by Allah, the truth. <laughs> I was just joking. Thank you, guys. God bless you. Have a great weekend. And until we see you soon again, maybe tomorrow, maybe the after, we will see how much view we have in this one. And based on that, we will decide when the coming video will be. Thank you. God bless. Take care.